Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Ease 1! Last time, the finale of Ease 1 actually, sorry I forgot to say that, the finale of Ease 1, I'm going to finish the game today, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says, we're finishing it, we're finishing the game today. Even if it means me making a bit longer episode, whatever. This game will end today. So last time, we got 5 out of 6 books of Ease, saved the girl Rhea in the Annex, got the key for the final boss, and a cool ass battle shield. Which, unfortunately, we cannot use for the final fight. Oh, well. Things that happen. Oh, well. What can you do? This game is weird. Anyway. Now, we need to backtrack all the way up. Because now we have... Now we really have no reason to backtrack whatsoever. The only direction we can go is up now. So, back up to the 13. We don't have to go... Through the mirror room again. Oh well. After uh, do doing it a bunch of times, you kind of remember the path. It's not that complicated. Uh, left, right? No, it was right. Okay, that was the only mistake I usually make. Because there there's like two mirrors close by. I never know if it's left or right. It's right. It's literally the only the only problem I have with this part. Wait, what? Where am I supposed to go now? There's no mirror up here. Oh wait, this way. Completely did not see that part though. Well. There it is, so right. Right, then back, and here we are. Okay. Back on floor 15 we are. I need to go all the way to... Well, there's nothing in these floors, they're completely empty. Floor 16, okay. So now we can just leave through the upper left to floor 17, great. Progress! Progress, guys! And according to my notes, this floor is completely useless, though. I'll keep my eyes peeled anyway, you never know. As we learned from last time, my notes can be incorrect. There might be a heal potion here, actually, but otherwise completely useless. So this is where the mirror comes into into play. I will actually save my game because this can go horribly wrong. But basically, what's ap what happens here? Uh, can I get? Okay, I will just switch with this. Power ring. Okay. Mirror. There's this old way with a bunch of spiders. I mean, it's not spiders. Sorry, there's scorpions. And since you have to bump into them head on, you end up taking a lot of damage. Okay, that was a lot better than I thought. The original, it can still go horribly wrong if you're not careful. <laughs> yes, yeah, an heal potion, whatever. We already have one. I mean, it's not like we're gonna need it. You need a lot more in the original where there was no heal ring. So yeah, that hallway with, uh, with scorpions is pretty hard because... You are forced... To bump into them head on, taking damage. So using the mirror, you don't take that damage. You can easily blow through them. No, these are actually the strongest enemies in the game. Oh yeah, these guys are the strongest enemies in the game. Forget what I said last time. These guys are tough. <coughs> so I'm just looking at my notes here. Sorry if I was going in circles, but you know I have to figure out where things were. Okay, this leads to floor 19, which should have a piece of armor that we can use. Should have. We'll see if it does. Okay, you wanna fight? Let's fight, dude. No, this way. Oh, there we go. With the heal ring, you don't really need any potions. Completely pointless. Forgot about that. Shit, where am I going now? Okay, good. It doesn't pull, put me back too much. Because usually I have this... I have the necklace at all times, just because of this. Forgot about this trap. Oh well, no big deal. Now we have the battle armor, which I should probably equip. Defense maxed out, let's go. We only need the final sword now. And the final resort is on floor 20, which we'll reach in a second, guys. 
All right, back on floor 18. There is another exit to floor 18. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see. We haven't been able to go on right over here, so probably is around here. Let's see. It's gotta be around here. There it is. Yeah, floor 19 and floor 20. Back by my get back my alphabet. And now we don't we can't even see the land anymore. It's just the sky, the moon, and the top of the mountains. This is where the sword is. There's this ambush with the bunch of enemies. Which I'm gonna kill just for fun. They don't kill me. Shit. Okay. I got clipped very hard there. Oh, oh crap, we're back from here? Okay, fine. Uh, I'm panicking! What do I do? I'm not here. There we go. Where am I? Oh, wait! I'm at the point where I have to use the mirror. Saguaru, though! It's not really... You're not really stopping time, you're just stopping the enemy. Time keeps flowing. Go ahead. Oh god, I, I had no idea those enemies could do that much damage. Let's all be more careful. Oh well, it's just a minor setback, no big deal. No big deal at all, we just have to recollect the battle armor, we'll be fine. Because we don't have to fight the enemies, that's the thing. We just, just run past everything. It's something I don't really like about the remake, because... At least in the original, you had a reason to fight the enemies. Because you had to level up. To get the stats that you needed to fight the boss. But in this one, it's just... Unless you need the... Unless you want to 100% the best here, there's no point fighting anything. It's, all the monsters are just a waste of time. Okay, got that. I really underestimated those monsters before. Oh well. Can I go in here? Thank you. Max defense. And with max defense, they killed me. That's because there were two of them, probably, and they clipped me. One from one side, one from the other, and I could barely do anything about that. Oh well. Things that happen. This is the game. Alright then. Up we go. And this time I'm going to save before doing that. This time I'm going to save. I'm gonna save right here. There we go, ambush. I went in, but the monster bumped me out. Well, okay, let's fight these guys. Oh, they're hard to fight. Shit. Uh, grab it. You know what? Grab the gra grab the freaking flame sword. They're hard as hell to kill. Even even with this sword. Okay, you know what? Get out of here. I'm not killing these guys. Maybe I'll kill one. I'll kill one just because. I need to kill at least one. I mean, come on. We need to kill at least one of them. I remember they were much easier in the original, but... Oh well. Save. Come on. There we go. They're the twerk. Yeah, look at my flame sword. They're all shiny and red. Look at that. Nice. Alright then. Getting closer to the end, guys. It just should be the final floor here, actually. Yeah, this is the final labyrinth section. We passed this, we're good. I just need to remember the path. 
to the end, because that's really all there is to it. And I think this is the right path, right? Another good farming spot right here. Oh, left? I believe so. Yeah, we got it. The second to last boss is in there, and then immediately after the final boss lurks, so... Yeah, we're just gonna heal up. Open the door and face that boss, which is a lot easier in the original. Oh, come on, dude. Get, 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 get out of here. Need to heal up. Need to heal up for the boss. I mean, I could use my heal potion, but... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Open the door. And get ready for it, because this one is going to be a pain. This one is a pain. Not as much as the... Um, not as much as the bat was. Basically what we're doing here, we're trying to hit the yellow guy. But we just do hit and get out of the way. Because it immediately transforms into the other one that's completely invulnerable. So we just hit and get out of the way. Hit, get out of the way. And we take damage too, because those things do damage. But eventually... There'll be less and less of them. However, in this version of the game, when there's less of them, they rotate faster. In the original, they did not rotate faster, so it'll be it'll, it'll be a lot. It was a lot easier then. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, now they will start rotating faster. Although there's one less to deal with. Now, okay, do that. Do that. Do that. Ow. Ow, I'm an idiot. I would probably not make this. No. Only one. Come on. Okay, I can make it. If I very... Um, if I'm very carefully. If I do it very super carefully. I have these bosses that bounce all over the place. And not like they're bouncing all over the place, but I hate when they bounce like this. I have a hard time tracking them. That's always been a problem for me. Nice! First try. Give me that elf refill. Oh yeah. Or you can just teleport out of the room. That works too. God, I hate this. Why? Why does the room or whatever it is the thing that leads to the boss has to remain open so you can interact with it and just randomly cancel out the boss fight are you kidding me just hit the stupid thing my god hit it why am i going through the boss and i'm doing no damage there we go and sometimes the size is good right now the size is good i don't know why hit it uh, thank you. Come on, one more hit. One more hit, Adol Christian. There you go. It's not a hard boss. It's just... The hitbox is shit. Woo! So we're going back to tire 4, because that's what we need for the final boss. And on we go. We're gonna need this. No, 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 it's over here. We're gonna need this, otherwise we're not gonna open this door. I think you take damage if you if you try to open this door without the amulet. And here we are. And there he is. Dark fact. Wants to save our game. One last time, and let's find out what this boss is all about. Let's fight the threat of Darm Tower. I know you are searching for the secrets contained within the books, and you have done well so far. I am impressed by your daring ambition, but of course you are still defenseless against my superior powers. The name Dark 
fact will be the scourge of all men to come. <laughs> oh, you are brave, but you are also a fool. You have no chance without the protection of the silver equipment. Knave, prepare to die! Well now, you must be the swordsman dear Ria spoke of. Your efforts to acquire the books of ease have been truly impressive, I salute you. But in unlocking the secrets contained therein, you have brought my pain full circle. Upon your death here today, the name of Dark Fact shall be seared into the pages of history. When the six books are gathered, a great power shall be revealed. But sadly, you're not fated to see it. This guy... Believe it or not, has an insta-kill. See the holes he creates? Stand on top of one hole when he's created, you die. What you gotta do here, this is a battle that uh, will probably not make it on the first try. But what you have to do, you have to try to hit him when he's on the sides here. So you still have some room where you can move in and just try to do some damage. And as the fight moves on though, there's less and less space to move. Come on, come on, dude. Ah. That was a very close fight. Oh well. Try that again. It's not easy. They made it a bit harder in this game, I gotta say. Compared to the original. I think in the original it was a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier. Still. It was a bit less of a pain. It was a lot less hectic than this. Oh, I died because I... Okay. See, that's the insta-kill, it just kills you because you were on top of on the hole when he created it. He creates the hole way you hit him, so you can pretty much manipulate where the hole appears. So That's why you want to hit him when he's on the sides of the platform, so that the hole stay there. But it's very confusing, as you can see here. You are going to get hit. There's no way you're not going to get hit. And I just cut off my the other off of the platform, so I think I'm dead, because... I don't think I'm, I'll be able to do enough hits on this alpha platform. See, as I told you, this really is a battle of I'm dead, <laughs> of trying to not cut too much of the platform. So that you have space to move around. And it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Be and that's because it moves so fast. Ooh, nice hit. Nice hit right there. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, nice. It's more or less okay. Oof. It's going down here. Uh, come on, how's that one not hit? Nice, okay. Don't cut me off of this side. Come on. Okay. No, I'm not gonna win this. Uh, I started so well. Now I'm throwing it all to shit. Ah, uh, again, it'll take a while. It's the final boss, guys. It's a fast fight, but it's also a hard one. Takes a bit. Takes a bit to get a good a good run of it. I thought I died there. I didn't, oh well. Good for me. And again, I hate bosses that just bump around like this. I have a hard time tracking them again. That's just my problem. Fuck! Cut off the platform again! I'd rather die, yeah, there we go. Again, sword, you have to, again, hit him when it's on the side and. Because he moves so fast, it's hard. Do okay. Okay. Concentrate, Fatter. Concentrate. You can do this. Don't hit him when it's in the center. Why do you keep hitting him when it's in the center? I have no idea, but it seems to be the case for some reason. Well, I'm fucked. No way I'm surviving this. Wow, 
I can just make this dude. I can just make this boss defeat this guy. What the hell? The first attempt was the best so far. He got super close and no. Wow. Wow, man. Wow. But I'm gonna keep all these attempts on screen. You have to suffer with me, man. Suffer. Suffer the pain of bumping enemies that bump around the stupid screen, man. Failure. I don't know why, but I have so much hard time tracking them. And this is nothing. Like, when we get to East 2, you'll see. East 2 loves doing this. Bosses that bump around? Man. Like a stupid screensaver? East 2. That's what East 2 does. Pretty close. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Got him. Almost died, God. Come on. Bump what I want you to bump. There you go. It all found the last book of ease in the folds of Dark Fact Scape. Well, got nothing else to do but to read the last book and find out what's written in it. The Book of Fact. Suddenly, in the new light of the rising sun, a seed stopped. Wherefore it had happened, no one knows, even now. But there was rejoicing, for it meant the end of our suffering. To ensure that he should never return, we have sealed away the power of ease. It lies within the six books and will be given to one who collects them all, so that he may become a guide and lead us to peace. But heed, he will read these words. Those who use the powers of demons shall one day be consumed by them. The prosperity held within is a lie. It is he who leads that shapes the form of evil. All that is, jewel and admin alike, is a treasure of ease, as given by our merciful goddesses. When Adol held all six books, a powerful white light filled his vision, and a great feeling of serenity overtook him. The morning sun began to rise. Gradually the sky brightened, and the tower's outline began to shimmer like a mirage. As if freed from captivity, birds began to sing, and the demons dissolved into hair. Adol felt the weight of a long journey lift from his heart. The world was at peace. It was as though the historic bounty of ease had been laid before him to fill his eyes and soul. As the things written in the books vanished, one by one, the shapes of the goddesses began to materialize. Though their faces were unfamiliar, Adol felt in some way that he had always known them. As he looked down upon the earth, he could see Zeba's house, quiet and humble. He wondered if Fina's memory had come back. He decided that when he returned, he would immediately tell her of all that he had seen. A dazzling light, seemingly from all sides at once, bathed Adol in radiance. He felt certain that he must be wishing him peace and good fortune. And so, it all began a new journey. But that's the story for East 2. Which is a completely different game, so... That will happen another time. That was East 1. The new version for the PC, which you can find on Steam and in all on other platforms as well.
So sometime in the future we're also gonna play Ezio, of course. But not next time, unfortunately. That was season one and two. Well, is one and two. Is one Chronicles, but you know. They probably released both games as in one pack so that you could, you know, play them both one after the other, which is what you're supposed to do. Is to is the immediate sequel. They're supposed to be played back to back. It's kind of like Golden Sun 1 and 2. Which I actually plan to let's play eventually, but those games I plan to do one. I, mean, I plan to do in one big let's play instead of dividing them like I will do with these ones. But that's because of a different reason. Like, this is because mainly, you know, is one. Like, all E's are like this, E's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but Golden Sun is like Golden Sun 1, Golden Sun 2, The Lost Age, and then there's Golden Sun uh, 3 for the Nintendo DS, it's completely, like, it, it is related, but, like, the story could end with the second one. It's one big story that spans two games. And while this one is also the same thing, but it also continues, kind of, in future games, so I feel like it's better to do one Let's Play for E's 1, one for E's 2, one for E's 3, one for his four. Well, I, I don't plan to do his four yet. Or at least the most recent version, but... You know, maybe, maybe I will, I don't know. I plan to do six, I plan to do... Three, I plan to do seven. I might plan to do eight. Eventually. Eight is on the PS4, I have it, but... It's super long, and... It's on the PS4, man, I... I mean, I played in another PS4 game, I kept, we play Shadow of the Colossus on the channel, so I have the resources to do that, but... You know, it's the time that I miss. <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, I do these videos just for fun, but... If I have to really, really... You know... Put some time on it, it becomes pretty... Pretty hard. Because I have little time. But yeah, that... That was E's one. Pretty good remake. Pretty good remake. The I'm gonna say I like the the turbo graphics a lot. Because there's voice acting. The music I like it more in the in that one. It just feels more 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 pumped up. I have no idea, but But this version is not bad. Not bad at all. It's just it does a lot more content. And it, it's just good. But, but the turbo graphics has to be played. Like, if you like this one, if you like this type of game, play the original. It's a lot harder, but it's also a lot more rewarding. But yep, to be continuing this Chronicles 2. But next time on the channel, the next Let's Play will be a big one. A big one. I'm just going to leave you that hint. A big Let's Play. Super big. Insanely big. You've never seen anything like, anything like that. Not on this channel. <laughs> Not on this channel. That's gonna be one heck of a let's play. Then. But... We'll see each other in two days when we're gonna begin that one heck of a game. See you guys then. Have a nice day, whatever.